In our discussion of the theology of restoration, we want to think together a little bit about uh, the people of God or the community of faith. Or in this short mini lecture, we want to think a little bit about the nature uh, of the church. And when we talk about the study in theology of um, the church, we're talking about a branch of theology called ecclesiology. Ecclesiology is that segment of theology which deals with basic beliefs about the church. Well, the first question you might have then is, why theologize about the church? And the first reason is because Jesus, uh, in his own reflection on his ministry in Matthew 16, 8 says, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not overpower it. So the question emerges, what is it that he's building? And the very statement that he poses should cause us to have some interest in this very topic. Also, we might want to ask, how does God work in relationship to his people? How do we understand the way he worked in the Old Testament and the way he worked uh, in the New Testament? And what does God desire of us as his gathered people? And so these are some reasons why we might want to uh, study this theology or the theology of the church. So what is the church? The church, according to Wayne Grudem in his classic text called Systematic Theology says, the church is the community of all true believers for all time. So the biblical terminology uh, um, or the word that's used in the New Testament Bible is ekklesia, and that is a Greek word meaning assembly or called out ones. It's used some 118 uh, times in the New Testament. And then if we read throughout scripture, we see that there are a number of especially in the New Testament, a number of metaphors that are used to describe um, what the church is like. And so uh, we see in 1 Timothy that we are to relate to one another as a family. We are the family of God. Um, we also see in 1 Corinthians 12 and in, in Ephesians 4 that the church is described as the body of Christ. So we're interdependent with one another and we're dependent upon our head, who is Christ. And so we see that image of the body. We are the body of Christ. We also see that we're called the people of God uh, in 1 Peter and in Titus. And this is the idea that, that we belong to him. And in some ways, this harkens back to the Old Testament notion of how Israel was the people of God. We're also described as the bride of Christ. And so we're, we're loved. We submit ourselves to him and we look forward to the future benefits of of our relationship with him. And so that metaphor is used in Ephesians 5 and 2 Corinthians. And then ultimately uh, in uh, 1 Corinthians, again in Ephesians, we're called uh, the temple of the Holy Spirit. And so as the temple, we are people, we are a people who are empowered by God. Um, as we continue to look at the nature of this church, we see that basically we can think of the church in, in two ways. Basically, church as a big C church or church as a small C church. And big C church is this idea uh, that the church is an organism, or we can talk about it as the universal church. This is also what uh, Wayne Grudem calls the invisible church or the church as God sees it. And so uh, if we think about a passage like 7, 2 Timothy 2.19, we can see that there may be people in local churches, the church that you would attend on a Sunday, who are not really saved. And so so even though they may be somehow participating in that local church, the small C church, they're not really part of the universal church, the big C church. So the big C church, the church, the universal church, is the church that God sees. It's his people, those people who are truly following him and are part of his family. But we can also talk about the church as an organization. And, and I, in separating this out, I don't want to downplay the idea of the organizational dynamics of a church. That's very important. The local church is important um, in God's uh, agenda and the way God works in our world. Um, but as Wayne Grudem says, uh, this church is basically the church that we can see, or it's the, the church that Christians see here on earth. So some people then, in putting these two together, have found it helpful to make a distinction then between the visible church or denominations and then even more specific than that, uh, the local church or specific congregations. So 
when we think about the theology of the church, we need to think about these really two different elements. The church, capital C, or the universal church, people who follow God, whether they are Catholic or Protestant, or whether they're Lutheran or Christian and Missionary Alliance or Baptist, um, those people are part of the universal church, the uh, church as God sees it. But then when we talk about the church, we can also talk about a theology of how it functions on a local level. And that's the church as an organization. And uh, that's an important distinction for us to make.